Uh, your patient's ready on your... Oh, Sophie, this is Mr. Adams. I, I know. Sophie. Alex, I can't believe it. Me neither. Well, how are you? I'm uh, worried. Of course. You must be Jade. And you are what? Eight? Mine in September. Really? Oh, I know. Where does this time go? Okay, let's listen to your chest, shall we? I, I remember hearing that you were pregnant. <sighs> and, and Peter, how's he? Um, he's living in Canada. Yeah, married to a woman called Fleur, apparently. Okay, can you take some deep breaths? I see. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Debbie, Debbie, at least we had the sense to end it early. Most couples take years. I can hear air entry on this side. Yeah, that would figure. What does that mean? Uh, Jade has a cyst on her lung. Not malignant. Oh, no, it's a congenital problem. When her lungs were forming in the womb, part of the lung got the wrong blood supply and started developing separately from the rest. Eventually, it formed into a cyst. So we want to operate on you immediately, Jade. But don't worry. I'm just going to make a small incision in your chest and then take the cyst out. Will it, will it hurt? Oh, you won't feel a thing. Well, any, any questions? No, no. Just make it better, please, Alex. OK, can we get her ready for theatre, please, Gary? Yeah, but I'm not sure we've got any HDU beds available. Well, in that case, talk to Chrissy about putting on Darwin. I'm scared. Will you be all right, sweetheart? Are you going to come across the road later? We'll let him be there. More than likely. In that case, probably not. OK, Jay, time to go now. All right. I'll see you later, yeah? All right. I'll be right here. I love you. I love you, too. I'll take you up to the dark. Okay. Sure. No, I wouldn't worry. The Stradams is a really good side. Oh, I know that. I used to know him when he was at med school. Yeah? What was he like as a student? Oh, shambles. I mean, not as a doctor, his personal life, you know. Yeah. He used to share a flat with Peter, my ex-husband. Oh, so uh, you knew him quite well then? Well, yeah, we were dating for nearly a year. I mean, before Peter. Oh, uh, I see. I know. So how did I end up marrying his flatmate? <laughs> It's really none of my business. Oh, I just... I just wasn't ready to get serious with Alex. Well, Alex? Serious? Yeah. Anyway, you know, it didn't work out. What, so, so you finished with him? Mm. It must be hard bringing up Jade on your own. <sighs> no, not at all. But then something like this happens and it's hard, you know, no one to talk to. Yeah, listen, don't worry, she'll be back from theatre and feeling better in no time. How are you feeling, sweetheart? All right. Here we go, sweetheart. He is nice. Who is? The man. The one that did the operation. Yeah. Yeah, he is. You should find someone like that. <laughs> you think so? Then we could be a proper family. Hey, how's things? Oh, she's feeling much better. Uh, resps 30, sets high 90s. Good. Let's have another listen, shall we? We were pleased with how it went. Yeah? Oh, thank God for that. Oh, that sounds much better. Oh, did you ever scare mommy again, eh? You all I've got. No other kids, then? Uh, no, no. And no stepdad either, but that doesn't stop Jade looking. We're all right as we are, aren't we, sweetheart? Yeah, I'll bet. Look, do you fancy a coffee or something? I mean, if you've got time, you know, catch up. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. I'll come find you later. Sure. Yeah. Mother's written, I'm afraid. Oh, well, nothing's changed then. What do you mean? Well, your idea of taking a girl out circa 1991 was, uh, a couple of months. 
pint in the king's arms. Followed by soggy pizza from the place in the corner. Oh, oh was I really such a lousy oh. date? <laughs> well, what you lacked in finesse, you are more than made up for in other ways. <laughs> it's good to see you. Even in such horrible circumstances. Yeah, for me too. I mean, who would have imagined all those years ago you'd be operating on my child? <laughs> well, there's plenty of things I would never have imagined all those years ago. Anyway, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, the consultant I'm under, Mayor, expects a lot, but he likes me. And I think I stand a good chance of becoming a consultant. Well, I wasn't asking about your career, Alex. I mean, I've seen that. It works. I was asking about your life. Ah, that stuff. Well, not much to be said, really. I'm happy enough. And is she the reason? She? The doctor you were working with today. Sam? I mean, I couldn't help wondering, you know. Well, yeah, I guess we've been getting close. Actually, we're thinking of spending New Year together. Getting serious, then. Yeah, maybe. It's funny, isn't it? We should meet up again at New Year. <laughs> Yeah. I'm really sorry about that. This is not a worse time to end a relationship. There's never a good time. Oh, please don't be noble about it. My timing was awful. It was a long time. So I haven't scarred you for life then. <laughs> Look at me. I am looking. And what do you see? I see a guy who's not sure whether he's got the confidence to fall in love again. I wouldn't worry. Worry? Well, we may be old friends, but you seem to be top of this list these days. Oh, when I say list, I don't mean that you're one of a lot of other women and that. I mean, what I'm trying to say is you shouldn't get hold of the wrong end of the stick. What do you mean? Well, she isn't just another conquest. I mean, oh, lovely ta. She gave him the elbow. It was her that broke his heart. But anyway, it was ages ago. He's obviously well over it now. You know, Sandy, if you had ever tried to be an agony aunt, well, you would have had a very short career. You get a sandwich. All I can say about Sam and I is that it's going well, but, mm. you know, it's early days. Yeah, fair enough. What about you? Well, there's nothing to tell, really. Start by telling me about what happened with you and Peter. I don't know. I don't blame him. I blame myself, really. I mean, after you and I split up, I thought I'd made a terrible mistake. I mean, then I had the chance to settle down with someone I love, and I threw it away. So why did you throw it away? I'm scared, Alex. You know, I thought I was too young for what you were offering. I know it hurt you. It wasn't that hurt. That I blew you out and shacked up with your mate. I thought you fell in love with him. Yeah, so did I at the time. And of course I got pregnant. I mean, I thought about our termination, but Peter didn't want it, neither did I, really. Well, you have had one very big compensation. Jade. Mm. Mm -hmm. Does she see much of Peter? No. Despite being keen to have her, since we split up, he's not been that interested. Oh, see. And she was born in September of 92, right? Yeah. Early in September, I saw on the note. Yeah. What? Well, you and I split up the previous New Year. Mm. Well, I mean, I heard that you and Peter got together quickly. I just didn't know it was that quickly. I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry, we needed it, Jade. Oh, yeah, that's all right, Jade. What's happening? I had a breakfast a few minutes ago. Her rests are in the 40s, her pulse is 120, and her sats are 80, even though I have wound up the oxygen. It's OK, Jade. It's OK, I'm just going to take a look at you. Well, what is it, Alice? What's wrong? The air entry on this side's diminished. Could be a small internal bleed. I'll organise an X-ray. Thank you. Alex, you said she would be all right. Yeah, and I really thought she was. So, is there any bleeding? 
There was no sign on the X-ray. Ah, like a mucus block in the airway. Should be a pretty simple matter to clear. Really. How is she? Fine. She's asleep now, but she's fine. And there really shouldn't be any further problems. I'm so grateful. Yeah, I'm just glad she's okay. Yeah, me too. You know, I'm not really one for kids, but you know, I was thinking how lovely she is. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I reckon she's going to break a few hearts herself when mm. she gets older. <laughs> I just don't care as long as she's happy. Yeah, of course. Sophie, are you still sure after all this time well, that we couldn't have been happy together? It's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Look, when I asked before about when Jade was born. She's not your child, Alex. But how do you know? The idea's in my head now, and oh, I can't I get rid of you, it. I you, Alex. She's the not your maths child. maths don't add up. I mean, you and I, well, I mean, I hate to be so blunt about it, but we were still sleeping together right up until we split. If Jade was born in early September, and you and Peter didn't get together until two weeks at least after New Year's Eve, then... We were close before that. What? While you and I yes. were still... Awful. I didn't know how to tell you at the time. No, I bet you did. I'm sorry. Is that the best you can do? I don't really know what to say. I could still be Jade's father. Peter was worried about that. We did a test. I'm really sorry. So am I. You know, I spent the last ten years trying to work out how I'd managed to screw up something so precious. This was one possibility that never occurred to me. And we can all be pretty stupid at times, can't we? Alex. No, I'm sorry. Well, I will be later. I wanted to apologize. Oh, he, he wanted to apologize. I shouldn't have stormed out like that. Oh, God, he had every reason. However it ended, what happened between us was very important to me. It would be pretty sad if that was our last word on it all. I guess. I still feel really bad about it, Alex. Well, I'm glad he didn't. At least I know the truth now. It's not a very nice tooth to have to learn. It was a moment, though, before you told me, when I wondered if the reason things hadn't worked out before was just timing. I was ready to get serious before you were, but it was more than that. I don't think we ever would have been right for each other. No. Oh, you've moved on. You were Sam. Yeah. Well, I better go. Sure. I'm still really grateful for everything you've done. I'd be glad to do it for any child, but... Well, I'm especially happy to have been able to do it for Jade. Bye, then.